Kind of wish I'd joined Morty on the cruise for this one. Get scrunched on, bitch! I hope you're done squanching yourself because we're about to talk about season five, episode eight. Episode boring. Rick something, spotless mind. Rick Turtle 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 of the Spotless French, Mort. Whatever, man. I mean, they were, the titles were pretty annoying before. Now they just frustrate me because I'm just like, what? One of the episode titles is just going to be a paragraph. Of just they just keep getting longer. This. Yeah. Yeah. The Odyssey. It's going to be an entire. Epic poem length. So, first impressions, just a meh Dumb. episode. I didn't laugh once. I did not laugh once. I did have trouble hearing some of the dialogue, so I had to rewind a couple of things or make sure I didn't miss something. So, maybe there's some insight in here. Maybe there's some lore. Who knows anymore? It just seems like... I don't know why the episode was happening. Like, there was just why, why. Yeah, there's a lot of why. There's a lot of why. I thought it was weird, too, that it begins with them out in front of the car almost the same way that the Beth... Pickle. No. No, the way that Beth and um, her mom... When she Remember, she drives away, and the, the opening for season two, was it, where the car blows up, and he's like, that's my non-canonical... Uh, remembering of how that happened. Remember the guy got his like little feely bugs all excited? Uh, vaguely, but not enough. They were to... in a Shoney's. Oh, okay. And yeah, he remembered yeah, yeah. that Beth and uh, his wife got killed in a car bomb by himself. Oh, uh, okay. An alternate version mm -hmm. of himself did it. Well, it was weird because they set that up and then later there's kind of a call back to it, even though nothing happens with, with Morty and the family. So let's just kind of run through it. All the non laughs. All the non This yucks. episode was about uh, mind septing bird person back to life. Yes. Oh my god, the joke with the with the his sentient AI garage was oh, yeah. so not funny. It's like listen, I'll just suck you off or whatever. <laughs> Why what? I, oh, so bad, so slow. It the joke doesn't pay off. Like it just it, it could be a good joke, but it's just not crafted properly. You know what I mean? Like, there's no backstory to this AI to be like, yeah, AI, you're going to sexualize Rick. Like, what? I'm just starting to quit. Was Bird Person ever that super great of a character? What do you mean? He was just in it a lot. He was yeah. in it more than almost any other character. That's what I mean. Like, but And we got a little bit of lore about some of the other characters, like Gear... Dude. Yeah, or yeah, gear guy. Yeah, gear dude. Gear guy. Gear guy is is gear dude's crappy little brother that they didn't like anyway. It was basically just. Remember, Rick. he takes his he takes his gears out of his mouth and shoves them in his balls. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't remember any of this show. Do nope. You? No. I just know that Rick was simping hard for Bird Person. Rick was yeah. Oh my. Okay. We'll get. Well, let's get there. Okay. So this this feels like it was packed with stuff, but none of it really mattered. Yeah, and none of it really connected, and it felt like they were trying to do that high paced joke thing, but none of it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I mean, this review agrees with us. Something we've been saying oh this God. whole time. Unfortunately, season reviews. five has also not been very funny at all. Like, there's just, there's no reason to care about the characters or what's going on. I, I don't care. In fact, they boil Bird Person down, spoilers obviously, to the only reason why he even matters is because he's got to get his dumb kid out of prison or, or whatever. Like, that's not a person. That's just a, an absence of person. That's a motivation. Yeah, I just, I didn't care about Bird Person's kid. Didn't uh, yeah, care about Tammy. Care weird sentient memories that made no sense like i guess that was supposed to be high concept well that's what this guy is saying like whatever it is it appears that simply packing an episode to the gills with gags and violence does not comedy make you are correct sir or madam who wrote joe matar good job joe you seem to know what you're talking about here um i literally just watched the episode not even an hour ago and i'm like shrugging like nothing seems to matter it's uh like you said it's um bird person he puts him back together and he has to go inside his mind to complete his mind so then he goes through all of this like 
backstory of Rick and Bird Person, which most of it felt like nothing. In fact, Bird Person shows like he has some sort of semblance of, a fe of feelings and emotions, and they don't actually even hit on any of them. Remember, he gives like Morty some really sound advice, and he's, you know, the only thing they kind of talk about is is him and Tammy and, and that big hilarious joke. Which joke? Tamantha is her name. That was a her joke? Name, yes, her name was Tamantha. Not That's not funny though. Da yeah, yeah, <laughs> you noticed. <laughs> Oh man! There was what was that giant war the the Beth War or something like there was I feel like there was some Beth stuff there that we missed. There, like I just didn't connect it. No, I don't know if I forgot a, about it. So there was a comment. So so Rick meets his uh, meets a, a, an imaginary projection of himself. That's a projection that bird person's perception of what Rick is, and he's like invincible and he he like shoots his little his his portal gun, but. Bird person doesn't know where the portals go, so it's just like a flat disc on the wall. Like, it doesn't mean anything. But he says, oh, you're one of those Ricks that went to go move in with his family after his daughter died. So he's saying that that's not really his daughter, and that that's not really... It's like C-137, that's not his real daughter. He might not even be C-137. Because this is the thing. It's always... That's what people love about the show or are really in tune with is that... C-137 is the rickest of ricks. And anytime you degrade him or make us think that that's not the rickest of ricks, then what's the point? Because there's just a million ricks and any other rick could take over and who cares? Right? Yeah. That's the point. The whole point C-137. of the Citadel of ricks, wasn't it? Yeah, but they're, they've are they they've shied away from that. Yeah. It, it just, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. And, and they're trying to explain stuff, but it doesn't make it funny. Um... Like they said, yeah, casual conversation about Marvel jokes, not funny. Tammy's full name, Tamantha, not funny. <laughs> this guy is saying, I didn't actually laugh at these jokes. I just thought, oh, that's funny. I didn't even think that. I just thought, I was well, like, that's oh, that's stupid. dumb. <laughs> yes, that's pretty dumb. I just went, oh, and then moved on. Yes. Um, what else? Oh, the Battle of Blood Ridge, where the hardest part of it is that he's in... Like, when did Rick... I don't know. I know Rick's sexuality is kind of ambiguous, right? Because he'll have sex with, like, non-binary planets and people and doesn't matter. When but he's him, drunk, he'll just fuck anything. But having a relationship with Bird Person seems just weird to me, considering that Bird Person was, like, very much in love with Tammy. I don't know. And they still kind of make him... A, like, in even every episode, he's still a bitch in some way. This episode, he's, like, a little simp bitch. Yeah, he's simping for... For bird person. Rick oh, C137 yeah, they did. They, don't he, do even that. this guy says the same thing. I mean, did everyone catch that bit about Rick's dead daughter? Like, what is that all about? Yeah. <laughs> Four out of five. How do you, you said not a single joke. All right, Joe. Yeah. I'm going to have to tag you oh, in this, God. you nerd. Seriously, bro. How can you literally say the episode Damn, the was bullshit not bullshit is what this funny. is. Paid for. It's, it's, he literally said the episode's not funny. And then he's like, yeah, four out of five. That's... See, that's what you get for settling for crap. You know, you can't just settle for crap. You have to expect a little bit more out of these things. I don't think there's even anything. Uh, they even make a joke about like, oh, we better get out of here before we get beaten to death with canon. As if they don't care what's canon and what's not canon anymore. Because the writers don't care. Because the writers don't even know anything. Like... What part of that episode connected you to the part where Bird Person died? Other than the fact that they told you that Bird Person turned into a robot and he was married to Tammy. If they didn't show you those like flashbacks, would you have any connection to the old episodes? No, not really. And, and they, they didn't even, sh did, did nothing with Squanchy. Again, they showed old characters and did nothing with them other than tell you stuff about them. Show me why Squanchy is cool. I mean, I guess they showed you Squanchy's. They didn't even let Squanchy tell a joke. He got killed before he even told a joke, right? Oh, yeah, he didn't even right. finish yeah. a joke. You know, oh, Squanchy's uh, failed uh, career. And then what does Rick say? Rick goes, "Oh, I'm an I'm in I'm someone's imagination. I had to sit through that." How about you let him tell bad jokes, and then we laugh at those bad jokes? They yeah. didn't do that. Didn't even like that's. It's called. I, there's something wrong with with today's writers. They all have to tell us and not show us. Today's women writers. What's cool? I, I don't know who wrote the episode. I don't know. Apparently not Dan Harmon. One of our commenters told us that uh, Dan Harmon apparently hasn't written shit since uh, season three or something. Oh really? Uh, apparently, well, I did not know that. 
Wow. Well, I, you know what? He, he, yeah, he could be right. We should do a little bit more research. I mean, we do know that Dan Harmon is lazy. So um, tell us in the comments, are we missing something here? Are we missing the fact that... I just want to know about Beth. What the hell is the Beth comments about? Do, 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 I, I'm starting to not care because they don't care. That's true. And if they don't care, then I don't care. Why should I care about your show if you are not going to put any effort into it? I just, I don't need to see a romance between Rick and Bird Person because Bird Person died at the hands of his wife. Like, that was a pretty big betrayal. It was a pretty shocking twist, right? Because Rick was like, oh, weddings all suck anyway. And then, like, literally the only wedding he agrees to go to is the one where his one of his best friends die. Oh, and one more complaint, in case you missed it. For some reason, and I don't know why, and I don't really care, but Rick misgenders Bird Person while they're in the band. He goes, this is my man, Bird, this is Birdman. This is Birdman. Oh, they're playing. Yeah. But in the entire episode, he's been calling him BP and Bird Person. But somehow, in his memory, he remembers Rick misgendering him or mislabeling him or what. Like, why? Is that just lazy writing? Dumb. Were you, whatever, man. I just wanted to point that out because... That kind of stuff pisses me off. Also, how dare you mention Pickle Rick episode in this episode? How dare you? Pickle Rick was a good episode. Yeah, how dare you mention better episodes without doing anything about it? Uh, be sure to catch our previous video as to why we predicted why season five was sucking and continues to suck. You can also catch our other reviews of the other episodes. We have a playlist here just for you, Rick and Morty fans. Take us to the moon. Take us to the moon as we approach our, not even close to our zenith, but just like giving you a little bit of that eclipse taste. You'll know if you watch my berserk video. I'll smash my new pickle on the like button if you get us to 200 subscribers. Get us there. We're almost there. We appreciate all our new subscribers and thanks for listening. Be sure to catch our full length podcast. You can catch it anywhere you can catch podcasts. You can also join us live for some Fun time, party time, Friday night frolicking. And that is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch us there. And uh, in the meantime, we're on to synchronized swimming. Or at least the next one.